guys, that monkey in the back here for the video, guys. Today we have an awesome video for you today. We have two, count it, two limited time cards. Now, we finally have a 99 overall right tackle, and we have a 99 overall strong safety. Well, I don't know how good they're going to do, but let's go ahead and get right in. We got a 15 gold or better pack, so. And our first pull is a 91 overall LT. I thought this was our last card of the video. Is a gold card. Bruh. Guys, seven down below if you got better pack luck with your packs. Alright, now getting into the game, guys. Let's go ahead and see what ends up happening. Honestly. Man, it's always one of those things when I get in these games where I'm always kind of interested to see how good these players do, right? Because you never know going to the game, like, are you going to go out there and just put up 600 yards and actually make amazing things or do nothing? And today we're looking at a right tackle. We're looking at a freaking strong safety. So it's either interception or dang, man, that man blocked pretty nice, huh? And right there, you can see so far, okay, I mean, hey, listen, I can't complain. Now, we got the God Squad, so you guys know already. Everybody else on the squad is going to be eating, man. You're going to be eating today, right? It's not just the God Squad is going to be eating. It's going to be, I'm sorry, not just the star players, also the God Squad. So, first down, 10 here, 34 yard line. Check it down. Let's hear side, Alvin Kamara. The guys, this is why I don't get rid of him. People ask, why don't you give it to Alvin Kamara? Alvin Kamara, man, like you get 99 overall, Sean Alexander. That's nice. That's cute. That's sweet. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in getting rid of Alvin Kamara. Kamara is a monster. He has played so good for me so, so long that I don't even see other running backs as competition to get rid of at this point because, or I mean, to pick up because it's just not worth it. Now, my opponent had a different viewpoint than me when it came to Madden. His viewpoint was, if I run the ball 6,000 times, I will win every single game. And listen, I just have that viewpoint too. And then I learned how to pass the ball. And it changed the game for me, man. Make sure you go ahead and check out some ebooks or something. I don't got one personally, but I know a lot of people out there got ebooks. Go check them out because they can change your life too. Because for some reason, I don't know. I, I've looked at like every single ebook and no ebooks show me how to run the ball. I mean, I guess it's like self-explanatory. Like, hey, man, you should know how to run the ball. This is basic Madden. But like... I've been looking at ebooks trying to figure out, okay, what's the best type of run scenario? Who should I put in as Javon Curse just gets that money? Nonetheless, though, I've been trying, man. I've been trying to, you know, really learn who's the best player to put in, who's the best player to make plays with. And people are just like, oh, uh, yeah, so here is a gun tray. Um, here is doubles, gun doubles. Here is um, not run in football. I get it, you know, running the football is kind of easy. Stress play, inside zone. You guys know the basic concept. Nonetheless, though, let's go ahead and see second down and four here. Pass to the right hand, a left hand side. And we are just hard hitting. Now, I did leave Keanu Neal as my strong safety for this video, which is kind of weird because you guys do not know what I have on my defense is I always put my strong safety in the box. The reason why I changed it up and put him in as strong safety this video is because I want him to play his natural position, which is linebacker, I know, but I don't know why they have my strong safety, but I wanted to play like his natural strong safety position. And right there, he just gave up a touchdown. So... Yeah, that's a uh, great, great way to solve this game, man. Great way to solve this game. Man gives up a tutty. But hey, listen. Technically speaking, it wasn't all him. There's other guys on the field, too. He is just one of many guys who went ahead and messed up on that play. As right here, I take a huge sack. Second out of 22, though, at the 19-yard line. We got to score before halftime, but we got to get it. We go ahead and check it out on the left-hand side here. Right-hand side here. I cannot. Apparently, I don't know my directions anymore. Maybe I gotta go back to like preschool because I, I don't know directions of left and right. I don't know how I don't know directions. Anyway, though, skipping forward, he gets the ball back before halftime, of course. And he's gonna go ahead and try to see what he can do here. But listen, listen, listen. We have zero ability to stop him. I don't know why. I don't know why. We have a 99 overall God Squad. We have the best cards in the game. And yet. Right there. Uh, that wasn't even Keanu Neal. I don't think it was Keanu. And that might have been Keanu Neal. Completely misses the ball. Completely. He runs the ball there. We hit him out of bounds, you know. Just a statement. Like, bro, you run the ball again. We're going to hit you out of bounds. 
Anyway, though, bright flower time here. Bam. Another pass. This one gets out of bounds. Don't question the fact that I was hit sick in the air. It, just, it, it didn't make sense, but listen. When you play Madden, nothing makes sense, okay? I try running man, man doesn't work. I try running zone, zone doesn't work. I try everything, nothing works. <laughs> right here, he actually was trying to go down the field here. Ends up throwing the ball away. Thankfully, we actually had some killers on that defense to be able to shut him down there. Well, could have gotten very bad very quickly. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Right here, though, for halftime, he actually go ahead and goes for it. He doesn't take his field goal, which is kind of very, very stupid. Nonetheless, though, he throws the ball out of bounds with no time left. So he doesn't want to throw a pick. He doesn't want to mess up his turnover ratio, okay? He doesn't want to mess that up. So he just takes nothing at all. Why? <laughs> why? Like, I, I have to ask, why? Anyway, second half of football here. We got to play a little bit smarter. And my opponent's like, run, run, run. Hey, did you, did you hear about the run place? So I came out and run defense in all honesty. I came out in three, four. I was just like, we're going to shut down the run. So my opponent's like, we're going to go ahead and throw the ball to the running back on a, an, on a drag route. Yeah, Th that's mad for you. That's mad for you. So anyway, did you see that concl uh, the episode of run? Yeah, you might want to check out the episode of Run because my opponent is running it the whole entire game. He's got a chilling clock in the third quarter with um, a tie ball game. Yeah. Per 100% amazing, Madden. Madden, amazing. Anyway, though, um, yeah, my opponent really just got boring in this game, in all honesty. But I wanted to go ahead and see how Kawhi O'Neal made, made some tackles, made some plays. And so far, he hasn't really done much of anything. And this is kind of what I expected as I used him right here to make a tackle. But, like, I kind of expected this to happen in these games where I, now I'm just blitzing this guy all out. Just by the way, guys, this is just me saying, you know what, bro? I'm going to blitz you. I'm going to see if it comes in. And it ends up going ahead and coming in here. But somehow he's able to get the ball away. But I'll say one thing, man. It's really weird when it comes to certain positions in Madden. I said this before in my other gameplay videos where, you know, wide receivers, limited editions. Okay, we could show off those cards. As right here, bro. Three, four guys around him. Nobody made to play. You know, limited edition cards like wide receivers, halfbacks, quarterbacks. We can show them off. Defensive players and offensive alignment, it's kind of difficult to go ahead and show off. Main reason why, because like, listen, they don't make plays usually. They make plays once, twice a game where they're going to be in a good position to get an interception, a good position to get a fumble. They're just not going to be in a position like every single play like defense alignment are that they're going to really show off and show up in a game. So that's the kind of the issue. But listen, again, like I said, his stats are amazing. Now, the stats really matter that much in this game. Not really. Wide receiver stats. Yes. Speed. I mean, not wide receiver stats. Speed. Speed stats, yes. Celebration stats, yes. Everything else, it's a hit or miss as we have a Tuddy right there. And to be honest, guys, our last drive here, we're going to go ahead and have one mindset. Tuddy, two-point conversion. Tuddy, two-point conversion. So that's all we were going into this mindset in this game in this uh, last drive. So we're going to start chewing clock. We're going to start running this clock down because I know if he gets the ball back, bro, all this man is going to do is run the ball against me. He's going to run the ball against me, get in the field goal range, and beat me with a field goal because this guy does not want to play aggressive football. He wants to play the baby football. He wants his pacifier. And you know what? If we're going to, he needs his pacifier, bro, we're going to give him his pacifier. His pacifier is a tutty and a two point conversion. Third down 19, though, after taking a stupid sack on the play, we're going to go ahead and just come out and throw the ball right to the running back. Never mind. We're going to run the ball here. Check it down to the running back and then get a first down, dude. Guys, I've seen so many people in my comic section, so many people in my live stream say, Bo Jackson, why do you have him at running back? Oh, I mean, yeah, why do you have him at running back, not uh, Alvin Kamara? Guys, you don't know how good Bo Jackson is. Bo Jackson is an amazing, an amazing, an amazing player. You can't trash this guy. You can try to trash this guy. You can't trash this guy. This guy does everything you need and some and some man this man is an absolute monster second out of nine here though we're gonna go on a all typical route to the outside bam that's a dataroni get down to the 10 yard line and in all honesty in my head right here i had hey we got this this is gonna be it this is gonna be it's gonna be great it's gonna be amazing but you know what i ran too much time off here and i took a sack 
because Trent Williams can't block. So next play later, I was like, we have to take an end zone shot. And whenever you say in Madden, you have to take an end zone shot, usually it goes in a very bad direction. But right here, we're going to walk to the right hand side, go ahead and take the end zone shot. And he's open and he gets knocked down. So next play later, four seconds left. This is it, man. This is all we have left is to take an end zone shot. Look at this play. I should have landed an out route here. I would have had a free touchdown on the out route. But we throw a pick. We lose the game, guys. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Yeah, we took the L. It sucked. It sucked. It sucked. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.